Okay, so you've planned the destination for your first holiday. Flight tickets bought and paid for. Time to start packing. Hmm, this is a bit of a problem. What should I take? Believe me, I've seen it. People are going on a two week holiday and they want to take the whole wardrobe. In fact, they want to take everything, even the kitchen sink. Listen, it's 2022, you don't need to do that. Wherever you're going, there is going to be shops where you can go and buy pretty much anything you want, uh, anything you need, especially all the basics like your toiletries, your suntan lotions, and pretty much anything else you need. So you don't need to take everything with you because you can just pick it up when you're there. Take a set of swimwear stuff so that basically as soon as you arrive, you can go for a swim if you want to without having to go shopping first. I've always found it best to travel as light as possible. The first thing you want to do before you even think about booking your holiday is check your passport. Make sure it's valid for the whole time that you're away because if it runs out whilst you're on holiday, you are going to have problems getting back. Another very important bit of information, check the QR code on your NHS vaccine because these do need to be updated. Generally make sure all your paperwork, all the requirements needed for you to travel to another country are all up to date. Don't forget your mobile phone and if possible, take an old mobile phone that you got sitting in the back of the drawer somewhere. And when you arrive, put a SIM card for that country in that phone and just use that phone and just keep your main phone for emergencies only. That way if your old phone gets stolen, it doesn't matter too much, you've still got your main phone. Make sure you take at least two credit cards so that, well, if one doesn't work, at least you've covered with the other one. And in the unlikely event one gets stolen, you are not up the creek without a paddle. And something very important you need to take with you if you want to have a good time, loads of money. Yeah, not specifically in the form of cash, but maybe on your credit card, but always make sure you've got enough to keep yourself covered. And with all your documents up to date, it's time to head for the airport check-ins. Now, you need to go through security. Once you've been through security and you're all clear, head for the departure lounge. Once you've successfully passed through security, you will head for your boarding gate, where you will board your plane. Then, bon voyage. You are on your way to your first holiday abroad. How exciting is that, eh? So I've left a link below this video that will take you to Chef's Travel's website where you will find a lot more useful information about travelling abroad, including some things that you might need to be aware of. This is Chef's Travel's, I'm Kevin Harrington. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this video useful and hopefully see you on the next one. Cheers.